Number 5. The Devil's Footprint, U.S. It is assumed that a rock or boulder in a town called Manchester in Maine, U.S. has the footprint of the devil on it. Why do they say it's the footprint of the devil? It's because of the shape of the prints on the rock, which seems to be the impression of a human foot and a three-toed foot of the devil, and also because of the lore pinned along with the rock. The rock was said to be immovable by any natural means. Chiseling was impossible and according to one story, construction workers of an unspecified time tried to move the rock but was unsuccessful. They were so desperate to remove the boulder that they even tried using dynamite but of course it didn't work as well. It came to a point where people were really annoyed that their work is taking longer than it should just because of the rock. So one of the workers said something that he shouldn't have. He said that he would gladly give his soul to the devil if the devil would just move the rock. So the next day, yes, the rock moved, but it moved several yards from where it was, which makes you think that the devil is just a big troll. But the worrisome thing that happened as well was that the worker who said he would sell his soul actually disappeared and was nowhere to be found ever again. It also doesn't help that the place where the rock is situated is also a cemetery. So yeah, a lot of spooky stuff is happening in that area as well. Number 4. The Devil's Punch Bowl, England There are a few places on Earth called the Devil's Punch Bowl, and it usually involves a depression on the Earth's surface. The one I'll be talking about has a folklore which involves Thor and the Devil, but even this place's folklore has more than one version. This place is the Devil's Punch Bowl, near Hindhead, Surrey, in England. According to one story, the Devil was just annoying Thor for fun by throwing lumps of earth at him. The place where he gets all the lumps of earth is now called the Devil's Punch Bowl, while the place where Thor was hanging out is called Thursley, which is a local village nearby which roughly means Thor's lie. In reality, the soil in this part of Surrey has two layers consisting of sandstone on the upper layer and clay beneath it. The large depression was created by erosion caused by spring water beneath the sandstone, causing it to collapse. Number 3. Der Tafelstritt, Germany Another devil's footprint, but this time it's on a tile found in a church in Munich. The church is called Church of Our Lady and is said to be the masterpiece of an architect, Jörg von Halsbach. According to legend, he got a little help in making it from the devil. Because while making the church, funds were running low so the devil offered to help him pay for the cost as long as the church remains windowless and dark. They agreed to the terms, and construction continued. When it was done, the architect escorted the devil inside to prove that everything was 100% what they had agreed on. From where they stood, it appeared to be exactly what the devil wanted, and so the devil approved that this transaction is now done and sealed. But as the devil took another step forward, he saw windows. To his surprise and annoyance, in anger, stumped his foot leaving his footprint in the church floor. Though in reality it could have just been a mistake by one of the workers during restorations of the church, or it might have just been added there to support the story that has existed as far as the 17th century. Number 2. The Devil's Tramping Ground, US There is a patch of land in North Carolina that seems to be barren through and through. Nothing will grow on it, and locals said that there were attempts to spend the night there, but they never seemed to be able to follow through with it. The barren land is in the shape of a circle 12 meter in diameter and is given the name the Devil's Tramping Ground. Story says that every night at midnight, the devil would come out and would go there to stump around in circles while planning his night. Anyways, attempts of growing plants on it have been done, but nothing will grow. Even scientists tried researching and trying to come up with a definite answer, couldn't find the answer. All the scientists could find was that the soil within the circle had a higher pH level and higher concentration of zinc, sodium, and copper compared to the ground outside the circle. But the readings of these concentrations shows that it is not enough to prevent things from growing on it. There is also another anomaly at the place. That is, compasses seems to be inaccurate in the circle. For now, this place remains a mystery that even science couldn't figure out. Number 1. The Devil's Bridge. Everywhere. 
There are a lot of bridges that carries this name, especially ancient arch bridges around Europe. Maybe it's the new architecture of the time that just seems impossible for the people. Think about it in their shoes. How is a strip of land able to just suspend in the air with columns very far apart? Not to mention the bridges over a river or canal. And sure, now we know it's all about the engineering calculations about weight, load, tension, and compression to make an arch bridge. But the fear of high places and the fear of falling could have risen the sense of death and of course the devil. You know, unjust death. Since there are numerous stories about devil bridges, I will focus on one of them. The Pont du Diable or Pont Vieux is a medieval stone arch bridge at Sire, France. It was built between the year 1321 and 1341. The legend goes like this. And bear in mind that most of the others have a similar storyline like this one as well. A long time ago, locals wanted a bridge across the river, but the river was too wide for them to construct a normal bridge. So who do they turn to? Of course, the devil. They even managed to call him to make an agreement. The devil gave them a condition which was, he would claim the first soul to ever cross the bridge as payment. Typical devil transaction. Thus, both parties agreed and the devil actually built them the bridge, and once the bridge was built, locals were deliberating because no one wants to be the first to cross the bridge or their souls would be taken. This is when they proposed using an animal to be the first one to cross. They chose a cat and made the cat cross the bridge first. They didn't say what happened to the cat, but it did took years until locals were brave enough to cross the bridge.